Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about inclusion bodies. We will explore the challenges associated with the inclusion bodies and reveal innovative strategies to harness their potential for enhancing the protein recovery. So what are inclusion bodies? Inclusion bodies are dense aggregates of misfolded or partially folded proteins that accumulate within the bacterial or mammalian cells during overexpression. So during the protein expression, these forms dense aggregates of misfolded or partially folded proteins. These are called inclusion bodies. Imagine a bustling uh, cellular factory working tirelessly to churn out proteins. But sometimes this bustling activity results in misfolded or partially folded proteins. That's where inclusion bodies step in. So these intergrowing uh, structures are dense clusters of protein that form when the cellular machinery becomes overwhelmed, leading to incomplete folding. So what are the significance of inclusion bodies? Hold on, aren't these inclusion bodies just cellular trash heaps? Think again. So these aggregates are like treasure chests. They shield proteins from degradation, yielding higher quantities of intact functional protein. What's more, they simplify downstream processing, slashing contamination risks. They're not just a trash, they are valuable resources. Contrary to their early reputation as protein waste, inclusion bodies harbor biologically active protein aggregates. What are the factors that influence the inclusion body formation? But what triggers these inclusion bodies? It's a symphony of factors from protein characteristics like hydrophobicity and folding intricacies to host cell elements such as uh, strain choice and growth condition. Understanding this symphony is a key to orchestrating the better outcomes. How can we turn inclusion bodies from foes to friends? What are the strategies that can enhance the inclusion body formation? So this can be achieved by controlling protein expression using regulated promoters and listing molecular therapeutics to assist in folding and fusion with solubility enhancing tags such as maltose binding protein or sumo that can enhance the solubility and facilitate downstream purification. So how to extract inclusion bodies? So the protein extraction from inclusion bodies. Now the nitty-gritty of uh, protein extraction. The first step in recovering the proteins from inclusion bodies is cell lysis. Mechanical disruption methods such as sonication or high pressure homogenization and enzymatic digestion like uh, using the lysozymes are common approaches for the uh, cell lysis. Once the cells are lysed, inclusion bodies are solubilized using calotropic agents, detergents or reducing agents to denature the protein aggregates and make them amenable to purification. But uh, proteins are saved from inclusion bodies are often in a disarray. We need to figure out refolding strategies. They need to regain their original form, a process called refolding. There are different strategies for refolding. This includes uh, gradual dilution, on-column refolding during purification and the art of intermittent batching batch uh, refolding it's like a protein origami with a twist using these strategies uh, we can refold and bring back to its original uh, functionalities advanced uh, purification techniques uh, purifying proteins is like uh, finding a needle in a haystack uh, chromatography magician's toolkit that separates uh, proteins based on size charge and hydrophobicity imagine when we can bring in microfluidics and automated system to show and amplify the precision and speed of protein purification so that would be an amazing advanced uh, techniques that can bring out very good protein yields in the purification. So now we have the protein purified. How do we uh, characterize the purified protein? So we have got our proteins. Uh, then what next? So we scrutinize them with techniques like uh, SDS page and western blotting to check size and purity. For a grander reveal, we can unravel their 3D structures using techniques like uh, circular dichorism and extra X-ray crystallography. So these are the techniques that can be used for characterizing the purified protein. Let's see what are the applications of the purified proteins. Purified proteins are superheroes. They star in drug development as enzymes, antibodies, and therapeutic proteins. They also perform feats in biotechnology, powering enzymatic reactions and crafting advanced biomaterials. And inclusion bodies are one of their gateway to these superpowers. So as we have seen, uh, inclusion bodies, they have transitioned from cellular villains to valuable allies. Research on this field has led us to unravel their secrets, uh, shaping a more efficient and substantial protein expression and purification landscape. Thank you for listening. Hit the like button and subscribe for more scientific adventures. Thank you.